What is going on everybody, Nick Costa here and welcome to this video lesson on groove number six from the eighth note pattern section of the groove library from the Zildjian drum set method. In this video, you're gonna learn groove number six and once you get familiar with it, you're then gonna see how you can move your dominant hand to various sections of the kit in order to shape the groove. I'm excited to get into this with all of you, so let's get started. Okay, so with groove number six, you are continuing to play the dominant hand in an eighth note subdivision, and you're still playing the non-dominant hand on your snare drum on beats two and four. The bass drum, however, is going to be played on one, the end of beat one, and the end of beat three. So go ahead and place that dominant hand on the ride cymbal and non-dominant hand on the snare drum. Now to play this groove, you're going to play the bass drum and the ride cymbal together on one and the end of beat one. You will then play both of your hands on beat two, followed by the ride cymbal by itself on the end of beat two. You're gonna play the ride cymbal again by itself on beat three, and then the bass drum and the ride cymbal together on the end of beat three. Finally, you have both of your hands on beat four, and the ride cymbal by itself on beat four. Now in order to get familiar with this groove, let's take it nice and slow. Play along with me for the next 16 measures at 60 BPM. One, two, ready, and... All right, so now that you've had the opportunity to give this groove a shot, let's go ahead and try it again. Once again, play along with me for the next 16 measures. This time, however, we're gonna increase the tempo to 75 BPM. One, two, ready, and... Alright, so now that you've had the opportunity to play your dominant hand on the ride cymbal, let's go ahead and move it over to the hi-hat. You're going to play along with me one more time for 16 measures, but once again we're going to increase the tempo, this time 85 BPM. One, two, ready, and... So now that you've had that chance to play your dominant hand on both the ride cymbal and the hi-hat, 
it's time to start to experiment and move that dominant hand to various sections of the kit. Just by moving that hand to various sections, it's gonna help change the sound of the groove. Take it one step further and how you play that dominant hand, whether it's with the tip or the shoulder of the stick, maybe even a combination of the two, it's gonna help change the sound of this groove even more. Now this is the part of the lesson where you get to work on your improvisational and musicianship skills. And although I want you to be creative and come up with your own ideas, here are just a few examples to get you started. I'm gonna play this groove for 24 measures at 100 BPM. One, two, ready, and... Okay, so to recap, in this video lesson, you learned groove number six from the eighth note pattern section of the groove library from the Zildjian drum set method. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below, and either myself or someone from Zildjian will try and help out in any way that we can. And while you're here on the Zildjian Learning Zone YouTube channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. That way you're notified of any additional content that gets uploaded to the channel. Finally, if you haven't done so already, I highly recommend that you check out the educational section of Zildjian's website. There you're gonna find a ton of helpful content for either yourself or that drummer in your life progress in their journey. And that is it. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Hopefully you've gotten something from it. And until next time, see you later.